everybody, this is Joe Corbett from Random Nerds. Today we're going to be upgrading an old MacBook Pro. Mine is a 15 inch 2012. Anyway, uh, to get started, flip it over and uh, remove the 10 screws from the bottom case that are securing it to the unibody. Uh, put the lid aside and make sure you arrange those screws in the order you took them out in, otherwise you might have some trouble getting this thing back together. Now that you have those screws removed, you can simply pop off the lid. There are two tabs securing it in place. Uh, the 13 inch does not have that, so it should just come right off once the screws are removed. Now that you have the lid off, go ahead and remove the two uh, Phillips head screws that clamp the hard drive down in place and put that bracket aside. Now you can go ahead and move on to popping off the two ribbon cables that connect the CD drive and a few other components. There are two Phillips head screws that are part of a plastic bracket that is laying over the top of the optical drive. Uh, once you've removed those two screws, you can get your Torx head back and then go to work on removing your optical drive. There's one in the back and two in the front. You'll have to slide that plastic bracket out of place to get that last Torx head. Uh, but once you get it, the optical drive should be ready to be removed. Just be careful you don't damage any cables in the process. You'll want to remove the ribbon cable that attaches to the back, as well as the uh, aluminum bracket that keeps the optical drive in place. We're going to go ahead and use those for our drive caddy, which I'll be showing you in just a bit. You can keep your optical drive and actually get an enclosure if you want to use it as an external drive later, so just put that aside for now. Go ahead and grab your hard drive, which is now loose in the case. Undo the ribbon cable and put it aside. You will need those pegs for putting your solid state drive in. Now pop your memory out, put them aside. Uh, I had a little trouble getting mine out. It's okay to use a tool, but be very gentle. You may need to put this memory back in if you have to visit the Genius Bar. So there you have it, a fully torn down MacBook Pro ready for upgrade. Grab your OWC memory, mine happens to take 16 gigs, it's pretty great. Pop those in. Be careful, they do go in at a slight angle and then push down. Now grab your solid state drive, plus your old hard drive. Remove the pegs that are on the side that help secure it to the enclosure. Pull those off, put them on your solid state drive and put your solid state drive into the case by attaching the ribbon cable, nesting it within the drive bay area, and then re-securing it with the Phillips head clamp. Now you're gonna to wanna to get ready to install your secondary drive, whether it's your old drive or a brand new solid state drive in the secondary bay. All you need is this drive caddy. Simply put your drive into the caddy, slide it up so it attaches to the SATA connector. Uh, there are two Phillips head screws on the one I purchased, plus a little bracket to hold it in place. You pop those in the bottom, get them nice and tight. Then go ahead and grab the aluminum bracket that was on the back of your optical drive and secure that in place with the two Phillips head screws. Grab the ribbon cable that was also on your optical drive and pop that on the drive caddy. Now you're ready to put your secondary drive where your optical bay was. Be very careful again. There are some pretty fragile cables running throughout that area. Once you've got it nice and snug, start securing the Torx head screws that hold the caddy in place. The one on the back, two on the front. Uh, then move on to putting that plastic bracket that lays over the top back in its place and securing it with two Phillips head screws. Make sure you're using the right ones because they are different sizes. Your last step is to make sure those two ribbon cables uh, are securely attached to your logic board and then you'll be finished. Put the lid back in place and screw in the 10 screws that hold your lid to your top case and you should be good to go. And that's upgrading your MacBook Pro.